Let's talk about when I sell my stocks. Now, if you look at this piece of paper right here, you'll see a bunch of brand names and companies that you might be familiar with. I grew up using some of these products that these brands sell, such as Colgate, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Nike, and I own shares in most of these companies. Some of them I have on my watch list. So it does make me pretty proud when I look at my investments and I see that I own companies that have products that I use on a daily basis. But guess what? If these companies stop performing, I sell them. I don't fall in love with companies. And when I talk about performance, I pretty much mean two things. If I have a dividend paying company that I invested in and that company either cuts their dividend or stops paying a dividend, I sell them. Why? I look at my dividend income as my salary. So let's say you work at a company and the company pays you 50 or 60K and your manager comes up to you and your manager tells you, well, the economy is not doing too well. We are in a pandemic. So next year we're going to have to cut your pay. Instead of 60K, you're going to be making 30K. Now, of course, if you have the option to go to a different company, work for a different company, you will take that option because you're not going to accept a lower pay. That's the same way that I look at these dividend paying companies. If a dividend paying company is not paying a dividend anymore or they cut their dividend, why would I want to hold onto that stock where there are other dividend paying companies that do pay an increasing dividend and they haven't cut or stopped paying a dividend? Companies take pride in being able to pay a dividend to their shareholders. So if a company was paying a dividend for a long period of time and suddenly they cut their dividend or they stop paying a dividend, that tells me that financially and fundamentally the company isn't doing too well. I had to do this earlier this year with my stocks in the Disney company. Disney stopped paying a dividend because everything that's been happening with the pandemic, they had to close down their parks which ended up hurting their revenue. So they decided to stop paying a dividend. And because they stopped paying a dividend, pretty much I had to sell them. Now, the second reason why I sell a stock that I own is if the company loses its competitive advantage. Now, a company's competitive advantage might, for example, be the products or services that it sells, but it also might be the brand itself. Some companies have a competitive advantage when it comes to location. They might be able to dominate one location. So that means pretty much that they have a monopoly on a particular location. If this company that I own stocks in loses one of these competitive advantages, that also means that this company is falling out of favor with their customers. So that's also a reason why I sell my shares in that particular company.